Hello YouTube. Um, today I'm going to be doing another GIMP tutorial, showing you how to make something a little bit like this. Okay, so I don't know, maybe nice for like a Valentine's Day email or something. Okay, so I've got myself a picture, and um, I found this on Google. I I might put the link in the description, but you can just find your own. So, all it is is a man sitting down holding a heart, really. And I just want the heart to be red. Okay? So, first what I want to do is duplicate this layer. And on the top layer, go to Colors, Desaturate. Now, you can choose either one of these. I don't, it doesn't really make much difference to me, so I'll just go to Desaturate. That gives you something like this. Now you want to add a layer mask to this. White full opacity, just click OK or add. And um, now get the brush tool and you want to make sure that your top colour is black. Okay. So just zoom into the heart. And now what the black will do is make it transparent. So this will make so you can see it on this bottom layer. So all I, so all we want to do is just colour as close to the edges as we can. So that you get the nice red heart. Smaller brushes is easier, so I'm just gonna make my brush a little bit smaller. Well, that's a lot smaller. So I can just get the outsides of the heart. Okay, so basically, what the black colour does is paints transparency and white paints full opacity so if you've gone over with the black I'll just do an example here so you've accidentally coloured in the jeans just change the colour to white and that will put it back to normal well you know that will paint the opacity on it okay so basically now you've got your basic colour manipulated picture so now what you want to do is render it and usually I just say get the fuzzy brush tool but that's not working so because of the details of the picture so what you need to do is do it the hard way Oops. I'll just give you an example of how to do it and then I will cut the video so just take your pass tool and you want to click around the outside and join them up so clicking around the hair just getting as much detail as you can and well basically the, mo the more time that you take on this the better it will look I'm just doing it very quickly just to whiz through this video ok so you can see what I'm doing here on the hair it doesn't matter so much if you kind of miss interpret where the hair is because you know it could be any kind of hairstyle however on the face and like any kind of body feature it's more important okay so I'm back with this um, fully rendered well you know all connected up with the paths and uh, basically all you need to do to, to connect them up is press enter and that will connect them up for you um, so if I just click enter and you see you get these kind of lines running about around the picture so make sure that you don't miss any of the gaps as well so now all you need to do is go on the layers and merge that down 
so it's just one layer now control X to cut to cut the picture and as you'll see you have if you if I just paint that in black you have a full um, silhouette of him if you don't you've done something wrong so now just make a new image um, it should be the right size from when you saved your picture just click OK so now all you want to do is control V paste him in there make a new layer on him ok so just move him down so he fits I just all I did was click on him and press the arrow keys up and down so ok that looks good now on this background layer what you want to do is fill it in with a white colour now select a nice red colour and go filters render line nova and that brings up should bring up this box okay default settings are good if you want to have a play around with them um, that's fine but I just like them as they are so okay I'm back five years after and it's done this brilliant so now all you want to do is um, on your top layer which should just be the man with the heart thing select your magic wand tool yes the magic wand tool and just click and drag down until you get the basic outline of your heart okay so I'd say that's about good so now I've just selected this make sure that you have this one clicked so that add to the current selection or just hold shift down when you're doing it okay so now all you want to do is control C on that now you can just deselect that with control shift A so now merge these two layers down and duplicate it however many times you want your animation heart to get bigger so I'm just going to do it twice so that makes three so on this middle layer I'm just going to paste in the heart make it a new layer drag it below just above the next layer and uncheck this top layer so I can see it ok so now shift T chain it together or link it together so you keep the um, size perspective of it and now just drag it so it's a little bit bigger press enter so that's done now just move it down to the right place ok so that looks good now I'm just going to merge that down to there and that's basically done just make sure you check that again so now all you need to do is go to filters animation blend um, and another two years later this comes up so again default settings are fine just press ok that will go through and take too long as you can see here um, now you want to do is go to filters animation playback that will bring up another new window anytime now should bring up another here we go finally ok so now this is your full picture just press play and that will do that and then there is your picture to save this and I don't know maybe send it in a um, in an email whether that will work or not I don't know just save it save it as ok oh, sorry I'm tired save it as, I don't know, I'm going to save it as a colour manipulation dot, right this is the important bit you need to put dot gif, so dot gif or gif, whatever so now you have that and just save that 